I'm really, really bad. Oops. Just saying, I'm really, really bad at going to the discount place at uh, nurseries where things are supposedly nearly dead and purchasing them. Like these lovely uh, African daisy characters. And I just go in, purchase it, and then resuscitate it. All this deadheading will help. But it's a beautiful color. I think it's a gorgeous color. And um, so I'm gonna pot it up in a blue pot and it should go really well here in front of the cottage. But all this deadheading will make it look even more bedraggled to begin with, but should improve with time. So all these dead heads will go. I'm even gonna take out some of the ones that are looking okay, like that. There we go, Oop, that one. So what looked like a full head of hair of plants is now rather demoralized looking because I've chopped out so many of the, um, each time I'm chopping out more, I find more. So, oh look, there's another one. So that is a lot better. Now, you can see this looks like a full head of hair or flowers, but there's a lot to chop out. Oh, look, I have a, somebody has decided to take a ride. So anyway, what I'll do is I'll show you what these look like. You can see that's what it looks like now. And that's what it looks like after I've taken out all the dead and dying ones but that's how to resuscitate these discounts where they sell them for a couple of euros. And um, by the way, these didn't look like this when I bought them. I've had them here for uh, about a week, 10 days. And so they looked a lot worse. So I'm just doing another uh, pruning back before I um, pop them up because I'm gonna pop them up next but uh, they looked a lot more bedraggled and worse when I first got them on the discount shelf. But I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. I forgot, I should explain my lovely bonsai scissors that I got. Oh, hello. <laughs> Have you come to help? Have you come to help? Anyway, these bonsai scissors that I got, I got these, I've had these, I got these first, I think, in uh, the 1980s in New York. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, we're getting all the cuteness factors in. <laughs> oh, this is just too adorable. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. How are you? <laughs> anyway, I've had these bonsai scissors for, God, it, it would be now, no, 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 no. You're not supposed to eat the phone. That is not part of the plan. You're supposed to look sweet in front of the phone, not eat the phone. Not to be done. And those are sharp scissors, not allowed them. Um, I've had these bonsai scissors um since I was living in New York City in the early 1980s. So, oh no, no, no. I must say, doing gardenings and potting of plants with puppies can be very complicated because they want to eat phones, eat sharp scissors, and all kinds of things. You're such a pup. But anyway, my bonsais, these scissors I have had, God, 1980s, that's, uh, that makes them 40 years old or so. You can see um, they've got a new um, thing, uh, whatever that's called, rivet on them. But uh, these are, I had these when I was living in New York way, way back, long, long time ago. So 
and they're perfect for going in and snipping these um, deadheading, these uh, daisies that uh, I've, I'm resuscitating from the discount bin at, uh, I can't remember if it was a nursery or Woody's. Are you having a lovely time? Are you having a lovely time eating the bone or trying to eat the bone? Oh, look, you've got a pebble. No, you've got a pebble. You're bold. You're so bold. Yes, bold. You're so bold. <laughs> okay, so this is my other assistant. The cat has abandoned me now. So I now have a puppy, puppy gardening assistant, repotting on plants. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, pups. Oh, and the swallows have fledged out, so I've got lots of baby swallows swooping around the place. And they get very cross with the cats at the moment. The parents do. There we go. I'll keep doing that anyway. <laughs> Knocking him for six. <laughs> Giving him a hard time. Anyway, here is my resuscitated, oh, I think there's some sort of African daisy character. These were the uh, plants that I've just resuscitated. And these, I planted them with these, these are white uh, blooms. And I can't remember what they're called right this second. My brain is flatlined. Anyway, these will come down and tumble down and be white. So you have to imagine what it'll look like as the summer continues. But there you go. It'll kind of add to the reds. You got the reds there, the post box, the door and the red of that. I kind of like that doing that. Oh, and my favorite daily, I love these, the flashing lights red. But then you come over here and you have my beautiful lavender, but also my favorite, favorite, da favorite dahlia is uh, the Bishop of Lundruff. And so the Bishop is in here as well. So it looks really good with my touches of red everywhere. And of course, a few red pansies or purple pansies, but the bees are absolutely loving the lavender. The lavender is being very well pollinated by a whole series of bumblebees. Look at that. And I'm really pleased with how the time, hey kitty, my time has turned out. There's one, two, three, four, five different times there. And I don't know what they're all called. Don't ask me, please. They're just flat times. I just wanted flat times to take over. And over here, I thought about taking out the dandelion and I thought about taking out the red clover, but I just, I like the different colors there. So my weeds are not weeds. This is a self-sown pansies, both of these, and I quite like them. So the only things I'll be weeding out is uh, if there's grasses growing in, like you can see right there are some grasses and I will weed those out because I don't want them to take over the time. So I'll weed the grasses out to keep them from polluting all those flat growing herbs. And here's some more. And then these, uh, Hydrangeas are going to be coming out soon. You can see they're coming out soon. And look, the wisteria I put over my collection of bird boxes. And earlier this year, the long tendrils of wisteria I put. And so I'm going to continue that. And so there'll be wisteria there as well. Anyway, that's my little cottage garden in front of the farm office visitor area, farm shop, guest accommodations, 
etc etc so that's what i'm doing or what i've done um i'm really pleased with this addition i think it looks really good anyway that's my little gardening thing i've done today <laughs>